This is Senior Intelligence Agent Harrison, beginning session 8 of the Incident 7-20, the HIURL incident. I'm here with Dr. Winston White of the AMR Reactor Operations Team. Hello, Doctor. Good evening. Now, Doctor, were you present for the whole duration of the morning shift? Yes. Could you tell us exactly how your shift started and developed? I left my apartment as usual at 7.42 so that I could take the train at 7.45. From the station, I went directly to Sector E and get to the control room at 7.56 just in time to switch with the night shift staff. As per Dr. Marks' orders, the AMR was started up and we began the final stress test, after which the AMR would be deemed as ready for commercial use. However, shortly before the end of the morning shift, things started to go south per se. The coolant pumps tripped right after fuel replacement was completed, and before maintenance crew got them back on, the AMR heated up to critical temperature, leading to growth of the core corruption. Hold on a second. I'm not a reactor operator, but I believe that in the event of a primary coolant loop failure, auxiliary coolant and the thermal reduction system is to be activated. Am I correct, Doctor? Yes, we obviously engaged both of these systems, however, they didn't do almost anything, almost as if the feed water intake at the dam was blocked, and the TRS seemed to be jammed as well. Anyway, right after a preliminary caution was issued, we immediately attempted to activate the safeguard, but it just didn't work. We assumed that there was simply some error going on with the control panels, so we tried to access their maintenance sections, but even though we were explicitly ordered to keep these unlocked, they weren't, and their service key was nowhere to be found. Interesting. So, what happened next? Soon enough, some monitoring systems failed and code red was issued, and the automated shutdown system had failed to start. We unfortunately also failed to engage the manual shutdown due to, say, wait to one controlled reaction, and the next thing we knew was just... At 2.57pm Mountain Standard Time, a disaster of extreme severity has occurred at the hazardous incorporated underground research laboratory. That is all I know about the incident. Though, mister, don't you find this a little odd? You uh, need to be more specific, doctor. We occasionally experienced minor issues with the systems, but considering how many things went wrong today, I... What I'm trying to say is, I don't think this was an accident, but rather a well-planned inside job and... With all due respect, this is not up to you to determine. Leave the investigation to the intelligence agency. Now, is there anything else you'd like to say for the record? Well, no. No, I believe this is everything. Very well then. For now, I don't have any other questions. I'm therefore hereby concluding this session. Doctor, you may go now, and thank you for your time.